This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Lintangan from Techno Buffalo, and if you're running Apple's latest desktop operating system, OS X El Capitan, today we'll be going over five tips and tricks that can help you get more out of Apple's newest update. Probably the biggest and newest addition to OS X El Capitan is the ability to use Split View. It's similar to Microsoft's snapping feature on Windows, but in El Capitan you have to click and hold on the green Maximize Window button, then drag the window to either the left side or the right side of your screen. You can also go into Mission Control and drag the app you want to dock into one of the desktops to activate Split View. Up next you can now hide the menu bar for a better full screen experience in window mode. Inside System Preferences, under General, you now have the option to automatically hide and show the menu bar as if you were in full screen mode. Just like a hidden dock, the menu bar will reappear as soon as you hover your mouse over it. It's a neat little trick that can enhance your experience if you like working in window mode. If you're big into Apple's Notification Center and want to group your notifications by apps, there is an easy fix for that. By default, El Capitan will group your notifications by date rather than by apps. While that seems like a really useful feature if you want to check out what you've missed recently, I like having my notifications grouped by apps to narrow down my selection. To change this, head on over to System Preferences, Notifications, and use the drop down menu and change the behavior from Recents to Recents by Apps. But of course, you can always group your notifications manually if you'd like. The last two tips for OS X El Capitan lives inside Safari. The first of the two is pin tabs, which essentially works just like bookmarks, but they'll stay active in the background and they'll stay put on the left side of your tab for easy access. Whether you quit the app or suspend the window, your pinned apps will still be accessible the next time you open up Safari. To pin apps, you can simply click and hold on an open tab and drag it to the very left side of the browser. Let me stop the video real fast and thank our friends over at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. The last one on the list is you'll now be able to mute tabs with just a single click of a button. Let's say you're listening to an audio in one tab and another website starts to play. You can now mute the one you don't want to hear or if you want to mute Safari in general, you have the option to mute all tabs if you'd like without the need to mute your entire computer. And that's about it. If you guys have any cool tips and tricks you found in OS X El Capitan, make sure to leave them in the comments section down below. And also, if you guys haven't seen my last video where I covered 5 apps that take advantage of 3D Touch, make sure to check that out over here. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.